Hello everyone, I'm Monica and today I'm going to channel Green Tara who's going to talk about the various key points about spiritual ascension and how you can do it. And it is not what you think and some of you are not going to like it either. I know that for sure, but it's okay. Um, there is certain wisdom that's going to come through. So those who are new to my channel, I enter into an altered state of consciousness tuning in my frequency to a specific being and allowing them to speak through me. That is what channeling is. I'm also a coach and I have learned at least 15 different modalities of healing and coaching. So I'm teaming up with my spirit team to offer different kinds of emotional healing, emotional regulation, releasing of limiting beliefs and traumas and things like that. So I have a couple of announcements like I'm moving to a new platform called Kofi, K-O-F-I, where I'll be hosting a membership going forward where you can access my past paid channelings as well as the free ones. You will also get access to a lot of emotional healing sessions that I'll be conducting. Tune in to the Golden Earth Frequency and enjoy! Dear ones, I am Green Tara and today I am going to talk about a key point about spiritual ascension. Most of you currently are focused in connecting with your higher self, your spirit beings, your angels, what have you. However, that is not the only way you can spiritually ascend. A lot of you are here on earth to experience forgetfulness of your true identity as source. And to remember that you are source. And in that process, you took birth and had great fun enjoying the earthly sensations of pleasure. This is a very addictive pleasure that even non-physical beings are attracted to. So, upon forgetting who you are and coming and enjoying all kinds of pleasures on earth, you have forgotten your source aspect. Now, in order to remember your source aspect, you have to experientially feel that you are source. And that can happen through two things. One is when you experientially feel the source energy within you all the time when you have had this experiential feeling of knowing how it feels like to be source on earth. This is what most ascended masters on your earth have experienced and this is not out of your reach as much as you would like to think and it does not require you to do a lot of things or difficult practices or things like that it is not that difficult source would never keep away things from you which are meant for you to experience the second thing that you need to do to experience this first is to heal all your negative emotions that you are carrying since a long time. This is what is traditionally called in your human language as trauma. So a lot of you are stuck in the earthly cycles and patterns 
because you haven't healed your trauma, what most of you refer to as the karmic cycle is actually trauma cycle because what does that mean really? You are not being punished by God as many of you have mistaken karma to be. Karma in Sanskrit means work or doing something. What kind of actions are you doing and what is your intention behind doing those actions? Define your karmic patterns. Karma is not punishment. It is basically why you act the way you act. And if the source of those actions are coming from fear, then it's going to create certain outcomes that makes you more rooted in earthly matters instead of ascending spiritually. So it is important for you to understand what kind of actions actually make you stuck to earth patterns instead of pushing you towards spiritual ascension. And the big part of it is your traumas and limiting beliefs. I call all of you right now to go within and really ask yourself, what kind of life have I created? Am I happy all the time? Most of you who are self-honest will know that you are not. Why is that? It's because of you forgetting who you are, which is source. And because of your forgetting, you are stuck in a pattern of behaviors, which is generated by fear. And because of fear-based actions, you are creating more trauma for yourself as well as others. So when you act out of fear, you are not only hurting yourself, but you are also hurting others, which accumulates this karmic pattern. So how do you break free from that? Heal your traumas. If you are only going to focus on connecting to higher powers, then you are deluding yourself. That is delusion in action. Delusion is the biggest pandemic that all of you are going through and you don't even realize that. So we are teaming up with this channel to teach you how to heal your traumas, how to heal your negative emotions, how to release your limiting beliefs and become physically lighter so that your actions are more love-based instead of fear-based because when you act from a place of love, then that action can never create any negative karma. And this is where most of you are confused you think you are acting from a place of love, but you are not. So there are many key concepts that we are going to start clearing for you to understand what it means. So it's time for you to practice self-honesty self-awareness and loving kindness towards yourself as well as towards others. You can be loving kind towards yourself only when you are apologies. You can be loving kind towards others only when you are loving and kind towards yourself first.
if you are not treating yourself with loving kindness, then it will be very hard for you to treat others with loving kindness. Now, don't push yourself to force yourself to be loving kind to those who have hurt you, who are perpetrators in your life, who violate your boundaries. There is a lot of discernment that needs to be developed. And a lot of you are not being able to discern because of your constant self-delusion and self-gaslighting. It's time to start accepting reality the way it is, including the unpleasant things that you see in the reality. Because remember, opening the third eye is to see reality the way it is. And that happens when you are accepting of what you observe instead of denying it instead of giving excuses for bad behaviors of other people, instead of justifying negative things that are happening just because you are affiliated to a political party, just because somebody is your family member justifying their bad behaviors, these things are exactly what keeps you into your state of delusion so it is high time that you start opening your third eye. A lot of you who open your third eye are going to experience depression immediately because you will notice the things around you are not as nice and dandy as you thought it to be. So it is all right to feel depressed when you realize things around you are not how you want them to be. So what do you do? Move towards what you prefer. Take action towards what you prefer. Do what you prefer instead of tolerating the way things are. You can take action even in small ways to change the reality around you. But most of you will not be, mainly because you are driven by fear. Fear of abandonment, fear of rejection, fear of retribution, fear of consequences, fear of so many things stops you from taking action. And those fears come from trauma, which is why I have come to let you know that it's time to heal your traumas so that you are acting from a place of love instead of fear. With this, I'm going to end today's transmission and there will be more for you to heal and rise above the occasion I wish you all the best.